You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon you ever see! See you in hell, evil magistrate! The warrior swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode, The Dark Messenger Returns. Take that, evil magistrate! Whoa! Stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What?! Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people! Young? Like, how young? Um, uh, ten years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only seventeen. That's seventeen. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only twenty-four myself. Then watch it with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Cramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright and Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hello, this is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick. Please, Nick. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in a popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! Yes? We're right in co law offices. What? Nick! It's the Steel Samurai! W what? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So, I've decided this will be our first case. What's wrong, Maya? It's him in the flesh! Um, is that guy really him? 
What do you mean that guy? Of course it's him. Will Power's our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um... Y yes Something wrong? N no no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead! He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this, and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo-Old Tokyo fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <sighs> I, I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What'll the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow! Nick, let's go! I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asked for autographs. Where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey! You there! You want in, you gotta go through me. Uh, oh! Sorry! We're, um, lawyers. Oh yeah? Well that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, 
tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Youth today, something horrible happens and all you can think of is sightseeing, wasting your time in a place like this. Don't you have jobs you should be doing? Are you lawyers not work like the rest of us? Maybe I should become a lawyer too. Like a life of ease to me, no work, just loafing around all day as you please. Um, Nick, will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. My own son hasn't called in. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to, you today. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No! You were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. W wow This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew, Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an incident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing a villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. <laughs> I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Hello! How is the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No! I'd never do that! Just now, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady said that she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible! I... I really don't know what to say! I was sleeping, I promise! Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. 
But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. Let her see you stumble once, and she'll never let up on you. Huh? She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bow childish scrawl. To think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really. Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only from here toward the studio. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's the confused detective! Hey, pal. You know, Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault! I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window! Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work! Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, no. I... I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey. Don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey! You can't just go saying pal like that! That's my endearing character trait! I'd say he's a character, all right. So, how is your investigation going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal! Nick... Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right. So, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm. Right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim ended Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went in the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you come lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true... 
anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai end towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See that camera up on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Ha 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 ha! Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal! Go wherever you like! Of course, you're not gonna find any clues I haven't already found. Ha 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 ha! I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go! We've got a free pass to the place! Now's our chance to check things out! Hey, there's a camera here! That's the security camera! It takes photos of people going to the studio! All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where! There's a number plate on the camera, ST1-307. That must be the camera ID number. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind? What kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio One, left to Studio Two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it, too. Nick, look! That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Ugh. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why did you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here, there's a gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1. The murder happened right around 2.30, yeah? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him too. If he's not the one what did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? Yeah! <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh, yes! He was great as the bearded samurai! That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, it's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? 
About the security camera. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on my computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No touching! Looks like a studio van. I probably use it to carry around film equipment. They do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Powers' dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right? Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid! The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach, just for steaks. What? The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. That's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right. And there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Hmm? This must be Powers' bag! Hey, don't open that! Look! An employee card key. That must be Powers. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened! All right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. What is it? 
You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the still samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey you, no touching that! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers! WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see? Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios aren't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. I see. Neat! In the morning we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area? That's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? W what kind? No, no, I'm, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from... outside. W really But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks! That helps us a lot! Anything helps! Let's go put that security lady on the spot! So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them.
What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 o'clock p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? All right, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired Creighton. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there was no tomorrow, saying that this, that, and the other thing. Well, when I was your age, let me tell you that I knew a thing or two about them. We didn't spend our time crying, saying that you used today. Just saying, she left. Please, about poor old lady. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick! Maybe we could see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 o'clock. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. There! Entered! Hey! It printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Mm-hmm. Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m. Photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope. That's the only one in the computer. Hey! Hey, Nick! Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady.